You're good to go. All right. <laughs> The Rundown is presented by New Amsterdam Vodka, the official vodka of Barcelona Sports. They distill their vodka five times, not one, five times only the finest grains. America's heartland. New Amsterdam, slightly sweet on the palate, smooth enough to drink on the rocks, and perfect mixed drinks. Drink your nav, send it to us. Um, wow, what a game. The Clippers and Golden State. I think most people on the East Coast probably went to sleep. Yeah. I thought, I tweeted when I saw the score this morning, it was maybe the most shocking score I've ever seen waking up to. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, I uh, I didn't know the exact score, but I thought they were down 50. I, I, I looked at the score, and I, I, my brain still said the Warriors won, so then I closed it and was like, oh, wow, that was a nice comeback by the Clippers. Fell a little short. And I was like, wait, huh? I had the over, so I, I was too, periodically, yeah. but it was, like, my concern was it was going to be such a blowout. That they would, that the Warriors would score, scoring. like, 14 points in be, the fourth uh, uh, What was uh, the over? 125 to, like, 90, and, and yeah. you would have lost that. Yeah. Uh, the over was, like, 234 or something. Yeah. So it went so way it blew over. blew it out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, just. Well, 30, I mean, 31. I haven't seen any of the, the highlights. The fact that it's 3-1, too. The, 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 so they blew the, a 3-1 so lead the, is. Patrick Beverly all was back. all up in Kevin Durant's mm -hmm. shit. And I, Durant is and Boogie's like out, right? Yeah. Do, yeah. They, Do you think it matters? Games? Boogie? Boogie? No. I feel like it might be a good the loss. Thing. Oh, oh, the loss. Oh, uh, I don't think it. No, you they're kind of like a lightning like... situation. What? Like a lightning situation where they're just gonna keep this is gonna keep. Oh, happening. whether it's like uh, uh, this is a signal of larger issues the, to come. Well, the Warriors are kind of like the Patriots in that like is like a weak. I know it's still the playoffs, but when it's not single elimination, you're okay. I would say it's like, yeah, something's a little different, but I also I, think overall, the fact that I would it's, not say it's a big deal. I think the fact that it's game one almost like helps them. Like well, I think it's game, game two. two. Oh, game two, all right. All right. So it's that one just one. Blew up that one real fast. Yeah. yeah. What was what was what game one? Killed they killed them. Seven. Yeah, that's yeah. probably what I didn't even realize. I, I I thought it was more like they got caught off guard and now they're gonna like snap back into oh, it. But the fact that thanks, it's game Spider. Two, Thanks, bro. Thank you, bro. Boy, that hat, no hats ever look worse on a human. Oh my than that God! One does on you. <laughs> let me see you it. look like a little kid. Absolutely. Look, you, most he looks Ill, like a six-year-old. Ill-fitting hat I've see. ever seen. <laughs> look how big that thing is on What's you. What's going on? Well, it's a New Amsterdam. He's doing it for, doing it for the, the glasses. No, it's way too big for him. That's what it is. I feel like they'll just bounce back, though. He like can hide under that hat. He can like if he like crouches down. Really bad look you could walk by and be like, it's just a hat. He's doing it for the sponsor. I'm curious. What do you think the odds are going to be versus Houston? Because I think Houston can beat them. Yeah, Houston can they definitely They took them in game them. seven last year. Um, I, the Warriors will still be favorites. Like two to one? Yeah, because they have home as well. Houston yeah. had home last I year. I may bet that if I continue to gamble. Um, Where, what's, what's up with that? Well, I'm retired, but I felt I owed it to math to Here take the, the overs, overs last night. Yes. Like, I didn't want to gamble, but I knew it was 8-0. No, so it's like... I'm just spitting in science's face and mathematics and, you know, who's a big mathematician? Einstein? I don't know. I'm spitting in all those people's faces if I didn't take the overs and they were 2-0. It had to happen. The biggest mathematicians really don't get a lot of pub. Like, no. All they can think of is Einstein. Like, who else? The, the one I know is fictional. Fucking good will. Perfect. Pythagorean. <laughs> Perfect mind guy. Is, that, is Pythagorean, is he a guy? Yeah, John yeah. Nash. Pythagorean would be a guy, right? Yeah. But yeah, Pythagoras. They really got to you know do a why? better job. A lot of them do, that. like, Proofs that make they don't matter. No, that's why math is they stupid. Serve problems to serve. No, I actually I think math is pretty cool. I just am so dumb I can't figure it out. I wish I was better at math. What's cool about math? I mean, being good at math would would probably make life a little bit easier. I don't know. Well, for gambling. Yeah. I mean, I just know I know what up. I don't know. I feel like both you guys know are math, actually I very. I, I feel like you guys both flip the math on for gambling. But it's only gambling. Yeah. Math. It's yeah. like being. Able but that's to, all you need. My yeah, math like is just really quick how much I'm down. Like, I can figure Well, it's out also quickly. math like knowing, hey, this game is flying over, but there's a p potential for it to go under. I've always thought thing. if I knew how to code, I'd be like. Right. Like, I, I wish, wish I, I knew, knew that how to code. Shit. Like, yeah. I could just code. That's math. The code yeah. guys know math. For sure. Um, that's true. They do. I, I feel like, unless you're doing like technology or you're like an engineer, yeah, math I mean, is that's pretty, pretty cool. I mean, code guys, they're two different things. It's like, they that's why like code code's guys like a different and content, language, code guys, code guys and content guys never, what? The code guys run the world. And code guys and content guys are never one and the same. Like, content guys can't, can't turn off code guys. Code guys can turn off content Big time. And code and content guys can't communicate. Correct. But if there's it's, no content guys to use what the code guys create, then what's the fucking that's point? That's true, but 
they could just live in a world like they could just create the matrix and we'd all be dead. Mm. For all I know, we're already, already in it. it. Yeah. yeah. Um, this Star Wars, Robbie, the the rise of Luke Skywalker. I just put this in. He he blogged it today. I am a Star Wars guy. I was not an old Star Wars guy. Like I've seen them. But ever since Daisy Ridley has come onto the scene with the new group, I fucking love them. And I love the enthusiasm of these dorks. Like, the fact that they just go absolutely bananas on a little preview and cheer. Like, I love it. I, I'm all in on the Star Wars stuff. Um, they know they're dorks. They embrace dorks. Rob oh, yeah. is a dork, I would, I've always like said, a great I, dork. It's I generational, wish I, too. Yeah. I wish I loved anything the way Bob loves Star Wars. Yeah, it's great. Or Nothing Avengers. in my life that even... Yeah, he... he Bob has has all sorts of threats going on right now. Bob if told Avengers Nate that he would ruin his life. He said he would dedicate it. his life to ruining, to ruining anybody's life. Who spoils life. I Avengers. think that's fair. Yeah. No, he, it's he, completely. He, he said he, he's willing to do like he's willing to get the police involved. He said he'll quit. He'll said he'll get fired. He said he will <laughs> he'll do like absolutely anything it takes to. Good. To, Listen, I was heated. I said a lot of things. I think you meant them all though. Here, here's 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 the the root of the issue. Avengers spoilers are out there. I'm asking everyone very politely, please do not purposely come up to me in the office and spoil the Avengers if that happens. Well, let me ask I you this, Robbie. That will but, but, I, but online, that, that people will start sending you like, hey, Robbie, really important no, information. For sure. I'm, I said what, what, I'm not, no longer clicking on, on my you. notification. It's, it's kind of on you. you. Why haven't you seen it? It hasn't been out. Oh, it's a good answer. It, it's out in two weeks. <laughs> it's been it, it doesn't come you out for two weeks. Bobby sees it open tonight. Oh, well, all right. Listen, I asked the question. I got an answer. There was so Jesse the, the Lowe story said is if Dave. he could be put into a medically induced coma for the next week, he would. So you guys have now like nine days where you just basically wake up in fear. I was supposed to see it on Tuesday with them, but now I'll, I'll see it a week from now. I'll see it. They have to volunteer to go into a coma for a week. I, I, I would go just said that. I would go into a coma. Yeah, just medically induced coma. He just said it. Also, unbelievable. And he still leaves no how to do it. So that's going to be hard to get spoiled that way. No, here's thought. the problem, Dave. A prince in the United Arab Emirates got a screener, and he's been spoiling His little shithead he son put out videos. Like, filmed it and put it out. That's so an asshole. So it's like, Such uh, an asshole. Uh, it's a diabolical can, this, can you kill this kid? To know, we don't know the Prince thing for sure. Please don't come We're after just us. We're just guessing. <laughs> yeah. the United. We don't want princes after the us. UAE. That's all we know. Okay. We know someone put out videos. I'm just saying, please don't spoil it. If you do, I'm going to be very upset. I, I would Spoiling I, it's a real dark, black heart move. Spoiling shit's an asshole. Especially, especially new shit. It's like new shit. Like, like, well, that's well, I, got, I got spoiled on Game of Thrones, but it's, that's my own well, fault. That, it's yeah, like we right. say, yeah, you it took me 10 years to watch. You can't get mad about that, but right. in real time and like something that's out, Correct. Absolutely. Something that has not been out is like, that yeah, is I mean, this a is, different level. This has been Bob's like entire childhood right. and adult life at this point. 11 so. years, so. I will say, I appreciate all the Star Wars love. Star Wars Celebration, greatest place on Earth. When does that come out? Star Wars December. And I thank you, Robbie, for that <laughs> yes. shirt that I that you bought me. I was a little disappointed to see John Kelly wearing it, but whatever. I guess he Wait. Wait, what? You bought I, a shirt? I, I, I bought I know I, I bought like, David's shirt. The John? No, no, he also oh, bought oh, a shirt. Kind of lame, kind of like, yeah. uh, it's a, it's a celebration now. exclusive, so you can only get lame. it at celebration. Yeah. It's still pretty rare. It's cool, but I mean it's yeah. a little it's like It's like when Brett was wearing your jacket. It's like Yeah, kinda I was like, oh, that's a little lame, but whatever. It is what it is. Can we go back to the Warriors for a second? Please don't that, spoil Avengers for me. That Steph Curry Tiger celebration. Oh, jump you walked shot right into that. Where Durant was oh. just like standing there totally. You know what I'm talking about? No. So, like pregame, Steph Curry was doing his shit. He puts the ball down and he pretends to be golfing. Oh. And then he picks it up, hits the hits like the fadeaway three, and he does like the Tiger celebration. And he like bumps into Kevin Durant as he was doing it. And Durant was literally just standing there, like with his arms folded, like, are you fucking done here yet? <laughs> it was like. I, 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 that dude is gone. Yeah. Gone. I, th I thought you were talking about Steph on Sunday tweeted, this is the greatest comeback in all of sports, and then his mentions were just lit up with, you, lo you blew a 3-1 lead. <laughs> um, my next topic I can't read. Okay. I know that game. Something woman? Weather, weather woman. Weather woman. Um, speaking of Tiger, a perfect segue it would have been. So a uh, weather woman in Atlanta is getting death threats because there was a tornado warning in her community. They interrupted the masters. She stood by, she's like, you motherfuckers wouldn't be talking shit if the tornado came right through your living room. There was a tornado warning here yesterday. Did you really? guys know that? No. Yeah. Uh, Sunday night. Yeah. Really? Yeah, in Manhattan. Whoa. Yeah. It would be a shame. Yeah. I don't think you can get mad about this. There needs to be an opt-in. Like, you should opt Absolute into cable great idea. that's all the, all the alerts, or don't opt in, and or if your house like, gets blown up, 
It's on That's you. your own fault. Or just press gonna... a button. Like, yeah. hey, do you want this alert? Yeah, do you want alerts in general? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, you yeah. could, I mean, I think technology, we're at a place now, a place in time where you can just do by what, hey, we have an alert up right. to you whether you want and to then, turn on. Right. And then when your house gets blown away, they'll just look up the records Can't. and be like, that guy turned off alerts. Yeah. Tough shit. Can yep. I just do like a picture in picture too? Why does it have to cut completely away? Another great question. Just have it like in the box and it says you're you about choose. to die from a tornado and you can still watch your tiger. Classic showdown on this one. What was the more unjust or just arrest, however you want to look at it? We got two stories. One's a substitute teacher, uh, like a middle school class. She admitted that she did like four or five quick shots of vodka and then just started cursing out all the kids. Verse. What grade, sorry? It was like 12 year olds. Okay. So middle school. Yep. Verse. A uh, husband and her common-law husband went to the movies, and during the movies, the wife, or common-law, I think it's a little different, whatever, is like, do you think I look pretty? He didn't answer. He claims he didn't hear, um, and then she <laughs> Not attacked he her. He heard. Him. Not he, answering he heard. is a crazy move. He heard. And then he, uh, she attacked him. So, <laughs> arrested for domestic abuse. Which one do you think is the more unjust, the, the attack for not answering the pretty question, or cursing out substitute teacher? Wait, unjust to be arrested for? Which one has, yeah, which one? I, I think not answering your girl who asks, Am I, do I look pretty, is like you're going to get attacked. Yeah. I think that's fair. I I they're both kids. The teacher, yeah, middle, middle if you, school, here's the problem. If you teach 12-year-olds, I think it's fair to get drunk and curse them out, too. I think they're both fair. Point, point three one seven. I think she blew. That's a little much. That's fucking you're, lying. You're fucking You're drunk. like not even walking. You're fucking shit -based. I think okay, if you are a first grade teacher and you're anywhere from point one to point two, that's fair Fine. game. Middle school teachers. Substitute teachers. That is hell on earth. I would not wish that upon my worst enemy. I mean, I would rather I do anything you can, to make you my You student money. taught? Oh, I student taught. I substitute taught. I There's that, seen that. that scene in Al Capone. When we got to find one of those kids. When you walked in as the substitute teacher, what would happen? Do you think we could find people one of like, those kids? Oh, it's like Dave. I was fine. just, it was like 50 bucks a day. It was like, I just want to get the fuck Can out of there. you just put like a movie on or did you actually try to teach? No, I didn't try to teach. We got to find one of those what kids. We, Imagine the documentary. For? You you don't any, know any what class? you substitute. Yeah. It's like they call you in. So you could go you anything. Math? You could literally go any class. But that scene like That's Al Capone the walk when he's <laughs> walking yeah, around yeah. with the table with the baseball bat, like teachers should be able to do that in middle school and just mm. bash somebody over the head and kill them and just to set the tone. Okay. Like that that is, might be a bit much. That well, being a middle school teacher is a bit much, Kevin. I've done it. It's the worst thing in the world. And I'll tell you what, you kill one kid and they all fall in line. Well, yeah. So you, you sacrifice one for the good <laughs> of the man. Make an example. Yeah. You make an example. So I'm actually saying, are you pretty? I kind of actually believe the guy saying he didn't hear it. Oh, no way. I do, because not responding is such a ridiculous thing to do. Like, why, why would you just not respond? But if you, you know you're respond, asking for a fucking headache. But if you don't respond, you clearly are going to say, I didn't hear you. All right, true. Like, that's the, that's the knee jerk. Yeah, yeah. Um, speaking of knocked out, Ovi absolutely oh. fucking oh. destroying some rookie. 19. An, another Russian. Uh, a lot of different takes. I guess some people are like, oh, Ovi shouldn't fight him. But the other guy picked the fight, and it's the NHL. It's like you're professional, and you're getting paid, you get knocked out. And I feel like there was like a, they looked at each other, and he was yeah, kind of totally. like, are we going to do this? He, he said so, yes. He was like, okay, let's go. The kid was like, yeah, Ovi, he's a Russian, 19 years old, youngest kid in the playoffs. He's like, yeah, Ovi was my hero. Yeah. Like, why are you right. picking a fight? You and, then, and then also, saying, if you're the type of, I mean, you got knocked the fuck out. Why yeah. are you picking any fight if you're going to fight like that? Yeah, some people saying his brother threatened Ovi, too. Oh, yeah. I think if you're Russian in hockey, people just assume you have mob connections. Yeah, but like I mean, 19 he definitely versus... definitely saw the Instagram? Definitely threatened. How old's Ovi? Yeah. Like 34, 35? Like, that's be older a than that, total... No, like, well, that's man yeah. strength versus old man boy strength. strength. Yeah. Old man strength's very, very real. I don't know what those other guys... I know Ovi's also a fucking scary bastard. I know, yeah. He's, he's no joke. He's tied with Putin. But that other guy who seems mob-related saying, one, two, Freddy's coming for you. Is... He said I that? Think... He put up an Instagram yeah. story... Oh, yeah. And he tagged Ovechkin. He said, one, two, Freddy's coming for you. Yeah. Whoa. Like, I, Putin and Ovi I are bad I news. I don't think that's... Ovi's scared of anybody. He's tied in with Putin. Plus, if you kill Ovi, I think all of Russia kills you. True. So it's like you don't go after the national. That kid, when his head hit the ice, phew, that was ugly. It was scary. Uh, Bruins lost to the Leafs. They're down 2-1. Um, Capitals lost. So Mush and... Frankie are watching the Islanders today. Mush is betting on the Islanders. That doesn't seem like that's going to bowl well for Frankie. Nope. Bruins kind of got screwed a little bit. Not bad. They didn't play well. There was a call that was clearly missed, a cross-check. I've been going at it with Leafs Twitter. They're fucking so stupid. I mean, if anybody's watched as much hockey as you have, you know. That, that was a cross-check. Right. That, You're a hockey guy. That was a cross-check. Right. Marina. 
Was that a cross check? Oh yeah, let's <laughs> you're, 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 you know, you're on bias here. What'd you say? Was that a cross check on oh, yeah, Dabrowski at the end no. of the game? Thank you. Um, <laughs> I rest my case. Yep, I mean, it was uh, blatant, blatant. Um, so that's it. Are we in the after show? Yeah. What's going on with you and your dad? Family feud. House divided. It team, is team getting, it feels in, in serious. House Portnoy. You, by the way, Dave, let me start by saying this. What you did on radio yesterday, I tip my hat to you, sir. That was some of the finest work you've ever done. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Showing up to radio and making Tiger Woods lo- uh, winning the Masters about your dad being the most wrong and deflecting all of it to your dad. I was like listening and I was like, Dave Portnoy is putting on a class. My By the way, show the people zone. your shirt here. Oh. It became best it, ever. It became this shirt, a casual swap. shirt that you have. This shirt yes. I've been, I, I think may sell. Dave was Dave was <laughs> so like glaring at me. From Dave, the Even the Tiger guys want this shirt. Dave was Frankie and really? Riggs are like, this is an awesome shirt. Dave was so wrong about Tiger, and then he he made it the trial of Michael Portnoy, and it was so fantastic. Who, by the way, your father is pretty much confirming there's no family situation that you speak of. He did say that this morning. I'm What's cousins. that? Your your phone call. He said the he's throwing threats member. at you now. He's basically he said I could blow this whole thing up in fifteen that seconds. Whole fucking line. My told. dad. <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> my dad has yet to admit he's wrong. I, I said on no. Susie, how a Portnoy man. How my dad wins court cases is by the mercy of people. Like, I just don't want to talk to this man anymore. <laughs> like, I will pay you whatever you want to just stop talking to me. I just gave him the opportunity. I'm just hearing what they're doing on the morning show. The morning show is chaos. What? We would even root for him. I, I now. Cousin Mike, can I please finish? Not. Can you please shut the fuck up no. so I can finish? No, I'm not going to. You come on here, you rant, you are clearly backed into a corner, you're lashing out at everyone like a little bitch, and then when somebody else tries to talk, you won't let them talk. It's crazy town. We should should get mad. What has clearly happened here, Cousin Mike, is this. Can I please just explain what has happened, and then you can respond to what I'm going to say. Can you guys cut his mic off? Can you shut his mic off? (laughs) I'm serious. Just shut his mic off. Yeah, it's off. (laughs) Okay. Cousin Mike, here's what's happened. (laughs) They're all screaming at each other. Oh, the cousin. They had to cut his mic. Yeah, they had to cut his mic off. Yeah, so it's not me. No, I know. He I'm just wondering where you're you at with heard, your dad. Have you heard my dad's take? He said he'd never win. But then when he won, he yes. revised that he could win. Right. He's like, but I wasn't wrong. It's- Cousin Riggs, here's what I'm going to do. I don't want to cause anybody any problems there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, I'm sorry. I was wrong. So they don't have to look back and prove that I'm not wrong. How's that? I'm doing it as a courtesy. Let's go. It's, it's insane, this man, and people don't get, this is real life. It's like, this is real, this is my dad 24-7. It's tough no, I to mean, I, I think we all get it. Yeah, I think we, we all know what it's like. It. We absolutely like yeah. don't get anything. You think my dad knows what me and my mom talk about? Wrong. My dad doesn't know nothing. So you you got a family member who's like about to die that your dad doesn't know is sick? I don't even know that. I heard my dad say something, he debunk something in like 15, but he wouldn't, I don't know what he's talking about. He's not involved in this. My dad doesn't even talk to any of my family. My dad's like an isolated guy. <laughs> so the house, the, the Portnoy house is crumbling. <laughs> it's not crumbling. I'm doing great. You guys are at war together. I'm not at war with him. I tried to give him the opportunity not to ruin the family name. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Mike Portnoy. He's, he, he sounded legit like, I don't know. It was like he was cry talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was bad. I've never seen him like this. All he has to say was, I was wrong. He can't do it. He's never admitted it in his entire life. What are you guys laughing at? That I haven't? I have almost, I, I have gone on every network I can to say I was wrong. Yeah. How's, I, prayers up to your family member. That's sick. I almost hope this person dies so oh I can God. rub it in your face. Oh my God. <laughs> Grudge Dave is out. Almost. Almost. Real close. Also, your phone's broken. That was... What? You said your phone was broken and no calls? The calls aren't recording since Thursday. In in or out. Like, I have no log of any incoming or outcoming calls. I wish I did. It would clear my name pretty quick. So if I call you, it just won't... It'll ring, but it won't. It is now. It is now. (laughs) So if I call you now, it's fine. But during this window... Duh, I got fixed. (laughs) 
I got fixed. It was a blackout. You don't, you, so, I didn't so even what, know. Just, like, I don't Sunday generally go back in my morning. records and look at my incoming outcoming log. You asked for it. It's like, oh, it's oh. missing. I, I called the phone company. like, this isn't working. It's company. working now. Yeah. yeah. What did the phone company say? They pressed a couple buttons. Oh. <laughs> and what happened when they pressed those buttons? They, Let me ask you this. They talk about restoring your, you this. Your... When your cable doesn't work and you call, they zap the machine and it works. They, they did that they with my phone. Your phone. And, they, and, they, and they just said that. 2019, technology is incredible. There just happened to be a blackout of phone logs on, on Sunday. Nope, not just Sunday. It was Thursday through like Monday when I figured it out. <laughs> Interesting. Just <laughs> just funny. For the whole Masters, it was just no calls. Cool. There were, I could get the calls that didn't record the calls. There's Got nobody it. better than you, Dave. The king. <laughs> it's unbelievable. King, stay king. It's unbelievable. The trial of Mike Portnoy. <laughs> what a it was poor bastard. I didn't put my dad, dad on trial. trial. Riggs put him on trial. Oh. Riggs cut it, had to cut his mic off. Yeah, I, he was on trial through me. I tried to redeem him. <laughs> By what? By by letting our family name not be fucking tarnished by not admitting when you're wrong. Man, Mike Port, he's gonna watch this and and oh he called in. He's gonna call in and he's gonna say nothing. What? He, I forget what he tried to like change it to you. Oh, he was talking about it being the biggest comeback. He brought up some guy I'd never heard of, <laughs> like Alex Spearer, was like, Cardi or something. Some it was, it was like a guy who won a handicap. Race. <laughs> it was the weirdest thing I've ever. It's like digging deep. He's yeah, digging deep. I can't imagine He's anybody doing deep. that, coming up with weird examples to spin zone their way. Out weird of the examples. Yeah. This was nuts. He's nuts. <laughs> Are we done? Yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> I think so. <laughs>